Hey everyone, it's Kelsey AK Real with Mrs. B and I am back because I've been tinkering with this for a while and we've been thinking about putting our sinking funds just into um, a savings account and I know most people love Capital One 360 and I think it's fantastic but I don't know, I'm just like one of those people that like everything in one place so I just wanted everything to just be through Chase Bank which we already have two savings account through uh, we have like our emergency fund in one and then we have our car fund in another and then we have a checking account um, and I actually still have um, a credit card um, with them still that we haven't just closed, we just don't use it. Um, anyway, we were getting to the point that we had too much cash in our cash envelopes and it was at home and it was just getting to be a little bit too much to safely have at home. So um, I thought about uh, why don't we just like create a Google Sheets that we can track all of the money and then just put it into our savings account. So that's what I've been playing around with this last month and even through today. So we will see how this goes. Uh, we ended up taking out all of the cash of our cash envelopes and it was over $1,200. I couldn't believe it. It's actually kind of nice to see it all together to see how much we were able to save. So uh, we ended up just putting it with our car fund because that's kind of a sinking fund as well. All of our cash envelopes were sinking funds. Uh, so we just combined it all and uh, originally, so the starting balance was $2,008 for the car fund, $50 for Amazon Prime, $40 for beauty and clothing, $417 for car maintenance, $150 for cats, $200 for a computer, and then we also have a gift card for $146. Entertainment, we had a whole whopping $1.00 gift money $137, health and dental $270, I'll come back to this, and then Xbox we had $20 in. Um, taxes is something that um, I need to look into adding a sinking fund for because of getting paid YouTube this entire year. Uh, we will most likely owe or I just want to put some aside just in case because this last year we owed just over $1,500 we were able to do it, but I'd like to avoid having to put, you know, so much towards it those last couple months coming up to tax time. So those were our current balances. Um, and then I also, my face is in the way, move me over here. I just included our emergency fund here. Just for reference, we're at 1921.55 after paying our taxes. So I kind of set it up that this is like the monthly total of how much we have in the starting balance and then I'm going to have how much we are contributing total each month. So in April, if you saw my April budget report, we were able to put $146.19 towards the car fund, $50 towards computer, and $50 towards gift money, and not really anything else because we either used it within the month already or... Um, we had gone over in other categories, so I had to take it from somewhere, and I'd rather take it from here than towards what we're putting towards debt. So, right now I have it set up. Um, so, like I said, it's going to calculate the total that we are putting into the sinking funds each month. It's keeping a running total of how much we have in each fund. And then what I think I'm going to do, so this is a little tricky thing that I was worried about. Our savings account through Chase um, allows you to do up to six transactions from it. You can transfer as much as you want into the account, but six out of the account per month, otherwise you get like charged. So I was just trying to think like, you know, are we ever going to go over? And I don't think we are. So when I set up every dollar, I put a certain amount uh, towards each sinking fund and then if we use it within the month then I won't transfer anything over to our uh, sinking funds savings account. If we go over how much monthly, so say you know I put $50, I'm, I'm gonna put $50 towards cats this month and I only you know and then I needed $60 I'm going to have to transfer out $10 from our savings account to our checking account to pay for that. I think we will be okay though because um, we do have a little like a couple hundred dollars in our checking account um, just in case like 
we don't get paid till Friday and something's due on Thursday, something like that, just in case I like having that little leeway. I do know people that keep their uh, emergency fund in their checking account for those circumstances. Um, it's all up to you how you do that. But anyway, if I went over those $10, I could wait until the end of the month and then just figure out, okay, so I need to put $250 towards sinking funds, but I spent over $10 in that one, so I'm going to put $240. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If not, that's totally fine. It makes sense to me, in my head at least. Um, and then I'm just going to literally just put comments in here when I spend, I think. Um, I don't like this to be too cluttered. I just want it really like matter of fact. <laughs> um, and hopefully this works out. I also added to the side over here um, upcoming or like yearly things to think about um, just so they don't come to be a surprise like renter's insurance ended up being this year. So uh, I don't know if I have all of them right now, but renter's insurance is always due in April and it's been $138 for the last couple of years. Taxes are due in April. I don't know how much, but just to keep that in mind. My car registration is in May, $125. John's in June, $125. And then Amazon Prime is yearly in July for $100. Just to keep that in mind so I make sure to have um, that amount when needed. So I added here also the, the months for the entire year. And then I think I'm just going to have like a different sheet per year. Um, if we continue to do this for years. <laughs> um, and I think I like this layout so far. We'll see how it goes. If you guys have any suggestions, um, I am happy to hear them down below. Or if you do something similar, I would love to hear how it goes for you. Uh, like I said, I just want it simplified all in one place and I don't want to overcomplicate things, but um, I would love to hear feedback from you. So um, please make sure if you haven't subscribed, you do so. You can check out my last budgeting video and I will catch you all soon in my next video. Bye.